One of the questions we get quite often is how do I set the items in a drop-down field based on the value in another drop-down field? And it can be quite complicated and time-consuming. So we created a tool that will allow you to quickly and easily do that just by pasting the items from Excel. And we're actually going to be using two of our tools in this demonstration to um, show you that. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to my Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to copy this column right here, or these, these cells. And my first one is blank because I want a blank in the drop down right here. So I'll go to Help, PDF Automation Station, Fill Drop Downs, and Category is the drop down I'm going to choose. I'll paste from Excel, I'll click Fill Drop Down, then I'll just test that out. And there's my items right there. Next thing is I am going to copy this electrical and I'll go back here. I'm going to go to help PDF automation station. This time I'm going to use set drop down items. So I'll click that and it asks me sending drop down or list box field. That's going to be category here. So I will select that one. I'll click Next. And this pops up here. And it says Receiving drop down or list box. The receiving one will be the description. And here's my category items. I'm going to select all of them to save time. So I have electrical, rolling chassis, and sheet metal. I'll go back to my spreadsheet. I already copied uh, electrical, so I'll paste that in here. I'll go back to the spreadsheet. I'm going to copy the rolling chassis items now and paste them right here. And back to the spreadsheet one more time. Sheet metal and paste. I'll click OK and I'm going to test that out now. So rolling chassis should be these four items, correct? Electrical should be yet another list of items. And then sheet metal is only two items. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set the parts based on whatever's in the description. But see that? There's nothing there right now because I don't have a selection. And if I select rolling chassis, this tool will pull up the list of everything in description. So I'm only going to get what's selected here. So what I'm going to do is actually reset this description box with the entire list, which is right here, of all these descriptions. There's 10 of them. So I'll copy that. I'll go back. And I'll use Fill drop downs again. I'm going to select description. I'll paste that. Click fill drop down. And there's my entire list. You have to be careful not to change this because it will reset these. So I want them all for right now. And back in my spreadsheet, I have another tab. And this is all of my description categories and everything I want to populate into the parts field. So I'll go to help, PDF automation station, set drop down items, sending drop down or list box. My sending one this time will be description. And my receiving is going to be part. So I'll click next. I'll choose part. And now I get a list of everything in description. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these. There's room for 10. So I'm going to choose all of them. One in each. So now I'll go back to the spreadsheet. And I'll just copy all of these to the corresponding drop down. Okay. 
and you have to do this all at once if you stop and try to go back it's going to reset the entire list so you want to get this all done at once that's why I have a spreadsheet here you can actually type these out if you want right on here you can type right here and just separate them with a carriage return or an enter I guess it's not a typewriter and you see in this one we have like 16 inch 19 inch there's a backslash in front of that inch symbol and you have to do that it's called escaping that character if you don't escape that special character it's gonna mess up the code so make sure any single or double quote make sure you put a backslash in front of it it's not going to show up on the list here it is again see those backslashes if you don't put those in this won't work properly if you do you'll see it here but you're not going to see it in the final result so I have one more thing to copy and paste here I'll just click paste I'll click OK and I'm going to test this out first of all let's do a rolling chassis so I reset this so we only have our four here let's do frame and you see the different frames here let's change that to front wheel and there's my 19 inch 21 inch no more backslash rear wheel tires and let's change this to electrical pick something wiring harness let's go with ignition coil plugs plug wires if you know what all this stuff is you probably figured out that I like motorcycles and that's all there is to it it's pretty simple easy way to fill these drop downs well one tool to fill them and another one to set the items based on another one and if you go to pdfautomationstation.com and just sign up for a membership you'll be able to use not only this tool but all the tools we have like pop-up calendars and other um, automation tools that will make your life much easier if you're a form builder thanks for watching see you next time